what's up guys so i know i was talking to um the past few videos about what i'm gonna do going forward with my channel of course i'm gonna keep addiction and recovery i notice a lot of people are really interested in the suboxone videos um aside from the first hi i'm Gemma jade video which you guys know how i feel about that <laughs> Um, the Suboxone videos basically have the most views. Um, the Astrology, I'm going to premiere right around Halloween time. Um, I've been working with the cards. I'm actually doing really great, remembering everything, getting that energy put out there. <laughs> so, but, um, what I'm going to keep on this channel for now until I get enough videos of the true crime and like the paranormal and I was talking to a few of you guys in the comments and you said that you would love to hear something paranormal. So I have so many experiences, but the one I'm going to talk about today is really creepy. But first, I just want to apologize to you all because I always say how if you comment the minute I see it, I will comment right back. So, you know, I, I told you guys I'm really bad with technology, which is why I kind of don't edit my videos. Like I know how, but I'm saving that for true crime and I want everything to be real and raw when it comes to addiction and recovery. But also like I'm really bad at stuff <laughs> having to do with this with filming and all that so um I got this little like notification that was like put all your comments and new subscribers here make it easier so I just clicked yes and didn't know what I was clicking yes to so I was manually going through my videos the other day and I found like 20 something comments that I wasn't even notified of because apparently I'm so YouTube famous that I have to go to my dashboard to see comments now. Every once in a while, like if it's a comment that I already commented like after and it's like a conversation going or numerous comments on that post after I post on it, then I'll get the notification. Also new subscribers, I'm really not getting notified. So I'm gonna give a shout out to all of you guys on um, an upcoming video. So if you're a new subscriber, put it down in the comments if you want me to shout you out. Um, that way I can really see it. Um, so my apology is that it took me, in some cases, almost a month and a half to get back to some of you guys. And I had some pretty serious comments there that I felt like sometimes people were reaching out for help that I told you I'd be here to give you. And I wasn't able to because I didn't see it. So you can always use the email address, uh, gemmajadeyt at gmail.com. That I get usually immediate notifications for. And there was one more, like, one other thing I wanted to talk about, too. Oh, yeah, the deleting the comments, guys. There is nothing to... Per I've shared so much of myself and my story and my personal life with you guys. Um, I haven't really shared much in a while just because something I'm going through. I don't know if I should bring it up to you guys in my personal life. But share yourself here. I'm not going to let anyone bully you. I will immediately take down any comments and do whatever I can if someone's going to make you feel unsafe to be yourself. So if you want to put a comment up, don't apologize if it's too personal. You can ask me anything. If I don't want to answer, I'll just be like, yo, I'm not comfortable answering that. And we can have a conversation. So please guys, don't be afraid to share yourself here, especially recovering addicts or even addicts in active addiction. It's really hard and I told you guys, like, the loneliness for so long that I felt, and I still feel, I thought that was over. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> so, okay, just feel safe. So, I'm going to go into the paranormal story. So, years and years ago, I kind of got obsessed with the BEK phenomenon, the Black Eyed Kids, which I do want to do a video on, but I don't have personal experience with them, thank God, because it terrifies me. Especially that I'm up so early in the morning and it's still dark. So when I go out to sit on my porch to have, great, low battery, to have my coffee, I'm always like, where are the BEKs? And I heard that if you're like um, constantly thinking of them or talking about them, they, they somehow are attracted to you. I totally believe in them. You know, if you don't, that's fine to disagree, but just be respectful. And whatever I'm going to talk about today, I'd appreciate just be respectful. That's all I ask. I don't care about differing opinions and conversation. This is something new that I'm doing. So anyway, but recently with Missing 411 and, I, and um, Missing Persons and Mysteries, I think it's called, there's so many stories going around about this glimmer man, which is like a predator type um, entity that kind of walks through trees and you can tell it's like cloaked, but it's in the shape of that predator guy from that movie. Like I've never seen that movie. 
the only time I ever saw the predator was this meme where it's like the predator and he's laying in bed like all sexy with wearing like half a blanket and it says sexual predator on it. <laughs> I wish I could add it in here. Maybe I will. Um, so, but yeah. Okay. So enough rambling, Gemma. Here is the story and you guys are going to think I'm absolutely insane, but I know what I saw. So I live in a very rural part of northern New Jersey and behind me and to the left of my house is all woods and it's deep woods. It's trails that go up to the reservoirs. I've seen bear caves because I went geocaching back there and I got lost and that's a whole different story. So next door to me is it's called like green acres protected property or something where like you can't build on it it's like wildlife and wilderness right next to my house so my next door neighbor is th this you know parking lot so it's a gravel parking lot that goes kind of in like a, a half circle i'm all over here you guys can't even see what i'm doing like a half circle then there's like big grassy knoll and they're in the where the gravel is is where people park their cars to either bring their bikes or do whatever they want to do up on the trails so every once in a while for a change of scenery, I was taking RJ just next door in his little wagon and we'd set up on the grassy knoll and have a little picnic. And it's a lot of fun, you know, as long as I can keep him from trying to get into these strangers cars because RJ likes to pretend to drive. So, okay, how it started, we were playing, um, now where we are, if you just walk a few feet up, you're like going right into the deep woods, which I don't let him, you know, obviously explore up there. So we're playing in the little grassy knoll and RJ is only two. So he mimics sometimes the sounds. I'll say, what does a doggy do? And he'll go roof, roof. And if he hears a doggy, you know, one of the neighborhood dogs, there are other houses, he'll make that sound or like he does cat or we call it who owl. He goes, who, who. So we're mimicking all the sounds of nature. And for a bug, RJ goes like that. I taught him that. Or like, I go, there's a little buggy. I know guys, whatever. So we're mimicking the sounds and looking at the squirrels running by and the chipmunks he's called the monkins. And then all of a sudden, like I turned around to get him like some fruit salad, like whatever we were eating that day. And all of a sudden, like out of the corner of my eye, I see him just stop. And he's going, mom, mom, but he's staring, not looking at me. He's looking up like this into the tree and he's pointing, but he's not like blinking. So I turned around and I was like, what do you see? Do you see a birdie? And then it hit me. There were no sounds. No birds, no dogs barking, no squirrels running. Even RJ, after saying mom like three times, was completely quiet. Until RJ started doing this. Like a bug. Right? So now I told you I'm a huge believer in subscriber to and fan of anything missing 411 or anything paranormal entities in the woods right so I remember a lot of the stories have to do with like everything just going quiet but I didn't like it registered but it didn't register so I see RJ like start walking into the woods but the whole time he's looking up now it's really sunny day this was just this past April or May of 2020 it's August now um and I haven't gone over there since. So I'm like, RJ, and he's still not looking where he's going. He's pointing up into the tree. And the only movement I see besides RJ, like there's no one else around. There's no cars there. The only movement I see besides RJ walking into the woods is like tree um, leaves rustling in the trees. So I'm like, what the heck is going on? And like, yeah, I've heard the stories, but when you're in it, like, I wasn't thinking um, Predator, right? Or, or Glimmer Man. So I look up and I see it. And it's like it whipped from looking at RJ to me, like, really fast. And you can't see it's it. It looks like how when you see heat rising up off the concrete on a sunny day, right? but it's in the tree and it's standing there and it's like crouched down. It's one arm is out kind of like to the side. And then it's other hand is like crouched down on the tree and it's knees are bent kind of like the crow yoga position. Right? 
And I'm thinking to myself immediately, I feel this thing's glare burning into me. As soon as his eyes snapped to me, RJ looked at me like he was out of his trance. I freaking panicked. So what I did was I'm like, just uh, pretend you don't see it. So I shielded my eyes like this. And I'm like, what do you see up there, honey? Where'd the birdies go? And RJ's like, oh, no, no. And he's pointing going, no, no. And I see, I feel the freaking thing still looking at me. Guys, have you ever seen Harry Potter where he puts on the invisibility cloak, how that looks? That's how this looked. And someone said it, and I don't remember who it was, but dude, this was, this screamed to me technology, right? Now I hear the clicking noise again as I'm trying to like call RJ over. He's panicked, like, no, no. I still feel this thing looking at me out of the corner of my eye, like, because I'm looking up, you know, pretending like, come here, RJ, you know, and I see it like uh, fucking, oh, sorry, like freaking sparkling or what, you know, not sparkling, but you know what I mean? Like that haze. So I'm like, come on, baby, get your wagon. We're going to go home. And he's like, no. And he's doing the bug noise, right? This thing doesn't look like a bug. It literally had the shape like a humanoid. Like when they call it humanoid, that's exactly what it was. Guys, it's so hard to explain because it was like humanoid. But the way it was crouched reminded me kind of like a praying mantis. And then I realized the clicking noise isn't coming from RJ anymore. <laughs> It's coming from this freaking thing in the tree. So I'm like, no, honey, I don't see anything. Come on, we're going to go home. RJ never wants to get back in his wagon and go home. This kid, every morning is a constant battle because as soon as the screen, the front door opens, RJ wants to go outside. He doesn't want to eat. He doesn't want to play. He doesn't want to watch TV. He doesn't want to say good morning. He wants outside immediately. He doesn't even want to stop to put his shoes on, which is a pain in the butt at seven in the morning. But that's a whole other story, right? So guys, sorry, my hair. So guys, like... I get him in his wagon and I, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying to myself, walk slow, walk slow. And you know how you can like feel someone when they're looking at you or something. Like if you've had a paranormal experience with a ghost or a spirit, you can feel its presence. I felt this freaking thing glaring at me. And all I can hear is this clicking noise. Click, 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 click. It, it, I wish I could explain what, what it sounded like. It wasn't like a car starter. It was lower than that. And it was kind of like whenever it did it, there was like this vibration. But again, it was like technology, like cloaking device. And I could definitely feel like its intentions were not good. The way I felt its head, like I saw it, it, its head just snap from looking at my toddler to me. Like I was some kind of threat to be eliminated because it was trying to lure my son into the woods. I, I mean, you guys are going to think I'm nuts. I don't care. Like I said, respectfully comment down below. Um, this is my first paranormal story time. So long story short, I guess, um, we walked the little, you know, road home. There's no sidewalks or anything. And as soon as RJ, RJ was in his um, wagon and we both turned our backs on it, it's like all of a sudden life started again. And you could hear the birds and the dog across the street barking. And you you could see the trees blowing. Even the, the, the wind stopped, guys. Needless to say, I never took him back over there again. And my property, I have a huge yard. And especially to the left side of my house, it goes to like this huge part of my yard on the side of my house that goes to this like babbling brook that comes down from the reservoir. And there's all these rocks. And that's what separates us, our property, from this property where you go up and park for the hiking trails or have a picnic. Scared the crap out of me. I've never seen anything before or since. And I just thank my lucky stars that I believe in stuff like that. Because what if I had been like, like completely oblivious and thought I was just like losing my mind and allowed my son to explore a little further? Because normally I won't tell him no. Like... I don't like when he does it and I'm usually hot on his trail, but he was like dazed. Like it took him a little while to snap out of it, to even be able to say my name again or to even blink again. It was the creepiest thing. And I have pictures from us from that day before this happened and everything was perfectly normal. We were going over there like every day, kicking the soccer ball around or RJ likes to collect little rocks. Cause our whole driveway, if it's like 11 cars, 
and it's all little gravel rocks and stones that he loves to just pick up. So that's my experience with the predator type entity or glimmer man. Do you guys have any stories like that? If you want to hear more paranormal stories, I know usually this is addiction and recovery, but again, don't be too hard on me because 90% of you said you wouldn't care if I did something like this. So I really hope I don't lose subs. 47% of the people that viewed four or more of my videos are not subscribed. So I'm branching my channel out a little bit. Now, if any of you in addiction and recovery don't want to see these kinds of videos, don't unsubscribe. Just let me know and I'll just put them on another channel, which eventually I'm going to do anyway. Like I might turn the addiction and recovery into like a vlog channel or something. I should have called it hot mess recovery because I'm a freaking mess all the time lately. My mind is just like all over the place. It may as well be like 3000 miles away. So yeah, like mentally just not here anymore. So, um, what else? I, yeah. So if you have paranormal stories and you want me to recount them for you or tell that, tell them, don't put them in the comments, email me at gemmajadeyt at gmail.com. And, um, if this gets a lot of likes and, uh, positive feedback, I'll start making videos like this where I edit, edit pictures in and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I got 20 months clean yesterday. Was it yesterday? I don't know what the date is today, but 20 months clean on the 21st. So I think that was yesterday. Yeah. And, uh, maybe I'll do a video about that. <laughs> what changed in a month? So much. So much. Also my upload schedule. I haven't been very consistent in the beginning I was, and then I started having problems with the CFS, but that comes and goes. And even though I am tired, sometimes it's not like that exhaustion. So I am able to push through it and upload, but RJ doesn't do play date anymore. I think next Saturday, he's going to start going once a week on a Saturday. I don't want to just rip him away from his little buddy, but the woman that was babysitting him is starting college, which is amazing. And I'm so proud of her, but I don't, trust anyone else. <laughs> I mean, I have family that I trust, but if he's not going to be around another little kid, it's kind of like, what's the point? The, yes, the point was for me to rest and catch up on my housework and work on my channel, but it was more so for RJ to get out of the house and play with uh, kids his age, another little boy his age, and then there was a five or six-year-old there as well. So hopefully that happens, and then I am going to be uploading on Sundays. It's Ray's only day off, but whatever. He usually gives me three to four hours to myself anyway, where he spends his time with RJ. So I'll do what I have to do during that time, and I will make sure every Sunday there is an upload to the best of my ability. Again, I need like a 1,000 subscribers in order to have a community tab. I'm working on that. I have more than half of the 4,000 um, view minutes or whatever it is. That's the 4,000. You need 1,000 subscribers. I have more than half. I have almost 3,000 on that. So I'm, I'm close and I have a whole year to get it. Um, but I only have 86 or 87 subscribers. So we're, we're going to work on that. I'm working on that to spread the word as much as I can. While it'd be great to be monetized and get sponsors and all that stuff. That's not the point for me. Yeah. I could definitely use the income, but it, that's not the point for me. The point is to provide a safe place for us to talk about what we're going through, especially in this isolation. If you don't think anyone cares, I care. I don't care if you're a perfect stranger. I care about how you're doing. I don't want to see more lives lost. So if you comment you're having an anxiety attack, I want to get back to you as soon as possible and give you somewhere to vent and somewhere to lay it because I don't have that. And it freaking sucks. It sucks. I am so alone. <laughs> That's another video. Um, I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Like I said, I'm going to do subscriber shout outs and it's like, just fake the smile, Gemma. Everything will be okay. I keep cracking my knuckles. You know, I do that in my sleep. <laughs> like people that have spent the night at my house are like, yo, I thought there was a drive by in the middle of the night. Cause I'm like cracking my knuckles in 15 different places. Okay. I'm rambling now. So I'm going to end this video. I really hope you enjoyed it next time. It'll be more short and to the point, but I had a lot of things that I had to bring up and I didn't want to make two videos. I appreciate all of your support. 
please subscribe if you haven't already. You have me on backlog. That's okay. I have so many videos on backlog. I think my watch later, I have like 78 videos or something like that. So, um, yeah, if you have any stories, send it to the email, any kind of phenomenon. I don't care if it's ghosts. I don't care if it's the glimmer man, the BEK. I would love to hear some BEK stories. Just guys try to make sure they're original stories so that I don't get in any kind of trouble. I don't know how that works. And the one thing I want to say too about, like I was saying about the monetization, like that's awesome, but I really would rather have a place where we can come together and just talk about our issues because at the end of the day, we're going through pretty much the same things, you know? I'm just, I, I'm in such a better mood just hanging out with you guys virtually, you know, one-on-one. -on -one, I am extremely awkward. I am the most graceless person you'll ever meet. I am so clumsy. I have a hard time carrying on conversations uh, in real life because of the extreme isolation, isolation and introversion that I've put upon myself and that has been put upon me, not only with coronavirus, but with my relationship. Did she say relationship? Situationship? I don't know. So, um, see, I don't want to go. I love talking to you guys, but I've rambled on enough and I'm going to take a little nap while the munchkin is sleeping. I really hope you enjoyed this content. Like I said, if you did, please let me know. If you didn't, respectfully and nicely let me know. And I'll figure a way out that, if possible, you can't please all the people all the time. But I'm going to do my best. So, um, yeah, thanks for getting my head back right. It's still 3,000 miles away, but what are you going to do? Uh, I love you guys. Be kind to each other. It's free. And uh, have your best day. Bye.